is very difficult. Why did you buy all them guns like that? I love machines. Why do I have three motorcycles in the shop? And you guys know I got three bikes in the shop because y'all went in the shop. I love machinery. Okay. It, it, I like I like machinery. Because I like. Uh, you understand the question, though. Why? I mean, why I'm asking that? I do understand. I mean, I appreciate you like machinery. Okay, I'm but not. But don't you think it? Don't you think that it's kind of odd to buy guns, that type of guns, especially that close together, that many? No, because I had the opportunity. I've been trying to buy guns for six or eight months now, ever since it looked to me like the Second Amendment was going to be in jeopardy. Okay. I and the fact that these, and that the so-called assault weapons were going to be no longer available. Why? You want me to tell you the honest truth why I bought those guns? Because I think that before my time is up, and certainly before my nephew's time is up, that you may see armed insurrection in this country because of the way things are going. That's the honest truth. That's why I bought them. Okay. okay. Now, you don't know where those guns were during the time we did our search warrant? No. And we took possession of those guns? I don't guns. know. You'd have to ask Pam. Okay. She may have taken them to the antique mall. I don't know. Okay. Today, you were home with her, no? Yes. No, I never have. I had not been to the house. Okay. I have not. But she had all, all these weapons with four her. Four times. And she had all these weapons with her. When? Today. No. Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. So she comes up, and she had all these weapons, and what else did she have that y'all were going to get rid of? That was it. Okay. And you didn't ask her, hey, did she tell you about the search warrant? She told me about it when it happened. That's why I got off the boat and came home. Okay. And she told you about all the guns that were taken? Yes. She okay. said, they, well, they took all of our guns. And then when you came home, or when you got up together with her, and you see all these weapons I in didn't the van. They were all wrapped up except for the two twenty three that's in a At some point she the she rumor. revealed to you you had all these weapons and you decided to call your friend Ed. No, I didn't decide to call Ed then. I At some said, point we you saw these get... weapons and later you called Ed. Yeah, we're getting nitpicky here. At some point you decided to call Ed to get rid of all these weapons. I just At asked no him time? if he would hold them for me. Okay, let me finish the question okay. now, okay? At, did you at no time ask her, hey, why didn't the cops get all these weapons? Where were these weapons at? They you never there. asked her? They weren't at the house. And you, okay, and you knew this how? She told me they weren't there. Did she tell you where they were? She, uh, I, she may have told me that, yeah, she told me they were at the antique mall. That's what you want me to say? Yes, I want you to tell us. I, I don't want to sit here and ask you 20 questions to get the same, simple answer. I'm tired. I want to know where the guns came from. It's I, a simple question, simple answer. I don't want to get I, 20 questions is, to get one thing from you. And that's what I've done all day. Well, I'm sorry, man. Well, then, look, hey, look at me. All I want to do is pick your brain and get the information in reference to this incident. That means anything having to do with weapons, monies, planning, people, that had anything to do with this incident. That's what I want to know. I don't want to sit here and pick your brain and go through 20 You're questions. You're going to have a hard time picking question. this thing because it's too hard. Okay. Let's make it easy. Tell me what you know about this robbery and who you know is involved and what you know about it. And, and I believe you've already talked to your wife. You know her, her attorney's there with her and she's cut a deal as well, correct? Yeah, that was... Oh, okay, well, and you you both got yourself limited immunity at least, okay? You're supposed this to... This is what I know. You're giving us what information. You, okay, this is what I know. I want to know everything. Then, then everything is involves more than just this. Then tell me more than just this. Let's go. Well, let's... Let's... How do... This is what I know about what happened. Sure. Okay. Patrick planned this thing out. Who did he plan it with? He asked me for input. I told him it was a bad idea. There was too much security. The first time they went to do the job. Now you give him information 
that there's too much security. Therefore, he explained the security to you, correct? No, he didn't know what the security was. Then how did you know there was too much security? I, after they went the first time. Okay, tell us about that. Tell us about that. <clears throat> Do you want me to start at the beginning? Or Absolutely. Absolutely. I won't interrupt you again. Just go with it. We'll see what happens. It, just let me no, tell you what I <laughs> just let me tell you what I know, and then you can ask me questions. Sure. I'll try to fill in. I'm all about it. Let's do it. He came. Patrick came. Okay. And he said, he told me what I told you about the contract. Okay. That part's already on the table. It's understood. You guys already knew about it. Okay. You, I, I know you knew about the contract. We'll worry about what we know later. But let's go. Well. I'm just telling you the way it is. Okay. He he told me that Cab had put him onto this guy. He wanted me to go with him, and I said no. And then he said. He started talking about how much money he thought was there. That's when we had the conversation about the difference between what you know and what you think you know. You think that money's no, I know the money's there. No, you think the money's there. And then I got. He said, "Let me go look at it first, because at that time I don't think he had ever even been there. I think he just knew where it was." And he came back. And when he came back, he had some photographs. They were horrible photographs. I mean, the quality was so poor. He made them look like a phone or some little digital camera or something, I don't know. Anyway, they were grainy, you couldn't really see anything, but it looked like there was somebody in the window. And I said, you know, if this guy's got that kind of money laying around, it, he's going to have some kind of security, right? Either physical security or he's going to have some kind of security system on his house. Well, he said, no, I think that there's a camera. I said, you know, this is way beyond my scope. I don't want any part of it. And he kept badgering me about the money. He kept hammering on me about the money. He knew we needed money. He knew Pam needed money. He knew that she was in a bond because the economy was down. She wasn't doing any real estate. She wasn't buying and selling houses. You know, she's getting foreclosure notices in the mail. He kept hammering on me about the money, man. You know, everything will be good. We'll all be good, man. Everything will be good. I said, okay, fine, I'll do it. And then he went back out and looked some more and looked some more and looked some more. And it, I don't know how many. And all during all this, this is taking place over a period of like several months. And I kept. I kept saying, no, I don't want any part of it. You know, finally I said, look, I don't want any part of it, but if you need, you know, if you want me to offer you some advice, I'll offer you advice. The whole time he's thinking that I'm something that I'm not. You know, he's thinking that somebody had put a reputation out on the street years ago. Patrick had worked under this assumption, is what he told me. And when he told me about it, I was dumbfounded, first of all. And then I couldn't even believe what he was telling me. And then it took me four or five days to convince him that I didn't even know about it. But somebody had put out on the street that I was <laughs> I was an enforcer of some kind. I had been, not that I was, that I had been before I had moved back to Florida. 